1951, I'll show it to you in a moment, uh, there was a geological find to where in the mountains of Ararat, there appears to be this formation that is the size and scope of an ancient ark. And it is covered with topsoil, as you would expect, through erosion and time. More recently, because of technological advancement, we've been able to do thermal imaging and x-rays. And uh, let me show you what they found in the mountains of Ararat. There's the mountains of Ararat. That's the impression that is the same shape as the ark. And it is lo and behold, 300 cubits, 515 feet, exactly what Genesis says. In addition, the thermal imaging shows that it is three stories high on the inside, just as Genesis says. That is a petrified timber deck and ancient petrified rivet. And so what's happened now is geologists and archeologists, they have petitioned the Turkish government for the right to dig and excavate and to see exactly what lies beneath the surface of Mount Ararat. Be interesting to see. Here's what I do know. Historically, archeology span has been a good friend of Christianity. That when God says that people and places exist, people doubt it until they dig it up. Okay? And so as Christians, people will be like, you're anti-science. No, actually we are pro-science and we really like archeology. span <laughs> And if you're a bit of a nerd as I am, there is something called the Biblical Archeological Review and it just traces all of the most recent uh, archeological digs and finds that corroborate and uh, confirm biblical teaching. 